right now we haven't worked that out yet. It's still a study in progress. Everybody agrees minimal residual disease, or a, a, the more appropriate term is measurable residual disease. MRD is now measurable residual disease. That's the thing you should be focusing on. Everybody agrees it's important, but we're not quite sure how to use it. Uh, the sensitivity of the assays is highly variable. The specificity is highly variable. Okay, I can detect that the patient has a DNMT3A mutation. Well, that's clonal hematopoiesis, but that's not their disease. I can detect a FLT3 mutation. That's the disease, but that may not be a very sensitive test. Uh, I can detect something by flow cytometry, but that's probably not very specific. If I detect MRD by flow, that means there's a 70% chance of relapse, but there's a 30% chance that they won't relapse. In other words, that's not a very specific test. Uh, is it going to be by sequencing, targeted sequencing, next generation? Is it going to be by flow cytometry? All of these things are still in flux. It's much clearer in the field of ALL. AML is still up in the air.